let him speak to our situations. Let him speak. Let him speak. If he speaks, nobody says no to what he says, yes. If he says, let the doors be loose, nobody can close them. Nobody. Nobody. No one. Nembe rayo. Teso wala kusigala ngala gide veo. Ngala gide chuke. Teso wala kusigala chechim. Let's go into the word and let him speak. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for today. I want to thank you for the gift of life. I want to thank you for your protection. As we begin this program, Father, we ask you to be with us, to send us your Holy Spirit, to guide us through, to guide us through, and let your word transform us and touch our lives. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. The Lord is good. And all the time, the Lord is good, and that is his. Yes, my name, I'm called Fitimukiza Patrick. And we want to share uh, uh, the word with you. The word we are going to share with you is from the Mark chapter 8, verse 22 to 26. Uh, it talks about Jesus healing a, a blind man. When they arrived at Bethsaida, they brought to him a blind man and begged him to touch him. He took the blind man by the hand and led him outside the village, putting Petro on his eyes, he laid his hands on him and asked, Do you see anything? Looking up, he replied, I see people looking like trees and walking. Then he laid his hands on his eyes a second time, and he saw clearly. His sight was restored and he could see everything distinctly. Then he sent him home and said, Do not even go into the village. Awo, never ja a bit side. Never mulete ramzibe. Never more gaili ramu kwateko. Na kwata muzibe kumokono. Na mu jamu chalo. Na mu fujira amalusu kumaso. Namu sake mikono, namu buzanti, ori kocho sovolo kulaba. Yena atunula waguru, na gamba anti ndaba, ndaba abantu batambula tambula, na ye valinge miti. Atena yonge wa kumusake mikono kumaso, na atunuli dadala, na dao ngeda, na alabi dadala urunji vionna. Namu sindi kewawe, namu gambanti, nemu chalo, toi ingiramu, chigambo cha katonda. Ayi kristu wa gulu mizimwe. So my dear brothers and the sisters, Omulu nji atulaba, atuliriza. There are very many things that we can, lessons that we can pick from this word of God. Evi okuye gabi nji vetu inzo kufuna, mchigambo cha katonda chino. The first lesson we can pick from this word of God is from verse 22. Verse 22 has said, when they arrived at Bethsaida, they brought to him a blind man and begged him to touch him. These are the people who brought uh, a, a man who was very blind to Jesus. Bano, bano eta omuzibe wa maso, eri yezu. 
I believe they had the faith in in Jesus. Nzikiriza dalal tivali no kukiriza mu Yesu. That the Jesus can restore the sight of this man. Ti Yesu asobolo kuzao amaso go muzibe ono. So what is the lesson the way pick from here? So much the tufuna wano. That my faith and your faith can help also other people. Ntio kukiriza kuange, no kukiriza ku, kusovolo kubako gwe kuyamba. All of us, God has given us uh, the, the mission. Fena mkama atuwade omulamwa ogo kutu kiriza. The mission of bringing sorrows to Jesus. O kutu kiriza chino echokuleta emyoyo eriezu. And another thing is that when they brought this man to Jesus, they begged Jesus to touch him. That means uh, intercession. They interceded, they asked the Lord to touch him. So when Jesus saw the faith of these people, he touched the, 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 the eyes of this blind man. Uh, this uh, Bethsaida, this, uh, I don't know whether it is a town, but this Bethsaida, Bethsaida Chino. It was a city in this Bethsaida that was a river. Mwalimu Omuga. We see it in John. In John where they say that in this Bethsaida there was a river. Tugulaba mu Yowana. That was a pool, not Nti. a river. That was a pool. E chidiba. Mwalimu e chidiba. A pool where many people used to come. Uh, those who are blind. Those who are sick, those who are lame, Echidira, and they, abanji, abalwade, abalema, abakosefu, abakonzibye mwabajanga. In this pool, the, the angel used to come and stir the, the water. Eira mchidira chino malaika omu kama ya janga, nasi kula amazi. And the first man who follows in this river, he will get here. Oyo, ea soke ranga dalo kuchigwamu. In the book of John, we, uh, we know the story of a man who was uh, sick for almost 38 years. And Jesus, when he found him in that river, on that pool, he asked him, do you want to be healed? And the man said, I don't have anyone to throw me in the water. When I am trying to, uh, to enter the waters, the people become the first to enter the water. But Jesus touched the man and he healed him. So, Jesus has the power to heal. Yesu alina amanyi okuonya. He has the power to restore alina us. Alina amanyi okuza obulamu. So I'm saying that in verse 22, my faith and your faith can help other people to meet Jesus. Aono mulu nyeyu no labiri mwebiri, nti okukiriza kuange, no okukiriza kuo. When you have encountered the love of God, it is very good also to help others to encounter Jesus. That's what even Pope Francis tells us. Echo Papa Francis Chatugamba. That once you uh, in the in the in his letter, the joy of the gospel. That once you have encountered the saving power of God, the love of God. 
nti ngoma zo kusisinkana amanyi go kuonyezebwa agatasa agobwa katonda it is a very good to also nyo help others encounter the same love okuyamba abalala okusisinkana okwagaloko your prayers can also help someone esala yo esala zo zisobola okuyamba omulala to meet jesus okusisinkana yesu now in verse 23 When Jesus uh, saw uh, he the the verse tells us that Jesus took the blind man by his hand and led him outside the village. Na kwata muzibe kuma kumukono na muja muchalo. And also in verse 26 Jesus told the man Do not even go into the village. Nam sindika temulo nyiyo rabili bo mukaga muga. Nam sindika ewabwe namugamba nti ne muchalo toyingira mu. He led him uh, he led him outside the village and I again he told him don't go back again in the village. Nam mujja muchalo ate mulo nyiyo rabili bo mukaga namugamba ate todda yo muchalo. You can ask yourself why. Oyinzo kwebuza lwachi. Why is Jesus they are bringing the 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 man to him uh, in, in near the river where people could be getting healed but near the pool where people could get healing but he is uh, uh, taking the man out of his village. Tebuze lwachi Yesu aja omusajjono mu kyalo kino namufulumya atoluva nyuma ro kumuonya namugamba ne mu kyalo toyingira don't go back to your no to the village toyingira mu amen the lord is good amen amkama mulunje obudde bonna the village has a very great influence on the life of the of this blind man oboli yao e kyalo china ekintu oba obulamu obwenja wulo obo obulamu obo kumuvuzibono wa maso i think jesus so that even if he restores the sight of this uh, blind man oboli yao yezu ali mumbera nti nti nebwazawo okulaba kwa muzibono and this blind man continues to to remain in that village omuziba wa masono nasigala ngali mu chifecho mu chalo chino ya awonyezedwa maybe he would go back into the same what the same situation oboli yao yandi damumbera zezimo the village had to do with has to do with the mindset e chalo chikwatagana me kuntegera It has to do with the attitude. Chikwatagana ne kuneisa. The 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 place where the environment where someone is. Awo omuntu wali. Or where he stays. Oba wabera. Has a very great influence. Chikulu nyo china che chituke chikola on his character kuneisa on his behavior kuneisa and also on his mindset or his way of looking at things so for jesus to help this uh, man who was blind first of all he first helped him to change his uh, attitude his mindset okusokera dala ya muyamba okweyemba okwechusa okuchusa engeri ja tegera mu engeri ja laba mu ebintu because the 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 way we look at things kubanga engeri je tulaba mu ebintu can also affect uh, us 
chiso wale radala okutuko sa oba okuba kengeli jetuwe isamu there are many people who come for prayers for healing bantu wanji ya wajamu kwega ilira okusabiru wako kuonye zebua in the places where they pray for people for healing for evyo kwega ilira mu evyo kusabiru wako i can give you an example or uh, one of the mindset which some people can have Ninzo kuwa kuchokula bilako Hava muenge lida jiba lama muwe bintu Osama nukani say that uh, You know this sickness is in Part of my life This is my sickness Oboli ya oli na gama Ntia bulu bulu wa debu wange Bulu wa debu wange Chitulu kubula mubu wange My sickness is the cancer My sickness is the what Cancer wange Sukari wange no, it is not your sickness. Mm -hmm. Actually, it is a sickness that has invaded your life. It has invaded your life. So Jesus came that, that for me and you, we may have life to and life in its fullness. So attitude, attitude, or the mindset, I want to engage to Need also to change. You need to ask yourself. What is the attitude do you have uh, uh, towards God? Nti katonda echipana incha katonda jendi chechiri wa. Do you believe that God can restore your life? Zikiriza anti katonda sobolo kuza ovu la mugu wange. Do you believe that God can restore your, your sight? Zikiriza anti katonda sobolo kunzi rizo kulaba. Blindness can be in two areas. Kubango buzibe wa maso buizo kuba mungeli nyingi. First of all it can be a spiritual blindness. Buizo kuba obuzibe mubiyo moyo. But also it can be also a, a real physical blindness. Ati buizo kuba obuzibe wenyini wa maso nga tolaba. No ignorant of the word of God. Ignorant of the power of God. Ignorant not being sensitive to, to, to sin. Okubanga tosobola kubela ngo labe echibi, echichamu. Those are spiritual blindness Ilumina that me and you we can have. But Jesus wants to restore us na ye mukama yezu ayagalo kuzawo to remove we, that blindness at walogo kuzibe bwo in our spiritual lives mwe moyo but also in our our Ate spiritual lives ne mumubiri so mindset awono entegera ya our mindset has also to to change entegera ya ngenjeri jenda ba mwe bintu nayo elino kuchuka and the second point which i want to say is that atacho kubiri chensa watu ebulirire ko that healing also can be uh, is can become is a process healing can become a process okunyezebwa Lugendo. There are many instances where Jesus healed people immediately. Instant healing. But at this moment, Jesus touched the blind man. Yesu akwata kumuzibe ono wa maso. He is spit on uh, his spit on his eyes. Amufujira malusu ku maso. And shut his eyes. Atena gakwata ko. And ask him. Namubuza. What do you see? Chichi cholaba. Do you see anything? Olina cholaba. And the blind man says I am I am I I see people Looking like trees and walking. You know, so I go now. That man, in that way, I want to be tumble, tumble. Never get me tea. At first, he was he's blind. Oh, so come, Mozibe. 
But when Jesus spit on his eyes and touched his eyes, na Yesu wamfujira maso na mukwata koko maso. He started to see. Atani koko kula. He saying, I see people looking like. Ndiwa ndawa man abantu abatambula tambula. They are walking, but they look like trees. Ngemiti. So he is regaining his sight. Ati amaso ge obo kula ba kwe. Jesus touched him the, 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 the second time. Yes, I'm a And at the after the second touch, at his sight was restored completely. And he can see the everything. Everything he can be able to see and be able to identify this is a human being. This is a tree. It is not a human being. So my dear brothers and sisters, what do you learn from this? That hearing is our, it is a process. And secondly, we should not lose hope. When you are praying for something in your life, you should not lose hope. You continue to to, to look at Jesus and claim your blessing. Claim your total healing. Claim your, 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 your total uh, deliverance. You need to continue to focus your eyes Tulina on Jesus. If you have been praying and the Lord has is touching you, you feel that your life is being re, is now on the process of uh, getting restored. Continue to focus on Jesus. In this uh, whole text, we can understand that God has power. Power to, re restore, to restore us. We need restoration in all aspects of our lives. You may not be sick, but financially you need restoration. Your family need restoration. Your faith need restoration. Your spiritual life need restoration. So all of us, we need restoration. So let's run to Jesus. <coughs> Let us run to Jesus. Jesus has power to bring me and you. And he is the answer to every, uh, um, to every kind of challenge in our lives. So let's pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father God, we want to thank you and bless you. Jesus, you told us in John chapter 10, verse 10. That you came that you may have life. But life in its fullness. You came that we may have life. And life in its abundance. We ask you, loving Father. To stretch your hand. Stretch your hand, O God. And touch each one of us. 
Your word tells us. In Isaiah 59 verse 1 Isaiah and verse 2. Atano mumu enda olinyoso kano loko vili. That your hand is not too short to hear us. You are Ear is not too deaf that you cannot hear us. So, Father, we ask you to stretch out your hand, your hand of healing, and touch each one of us. Touch all your people, your children who are listening to us, following this program. We ask you for to restore us, restore our health. Give us your grace, O Lord. We ask you also to touch our mindset. Transform our mindset, Lord. Especially the negative mindset. We have towards ourselves. We have towards the people. We have towards you And also we have towards the church We ask you Lord to heal and transform our mindset So that we may be able to see things the way you see them So that we can be able to have the same mindset you have towards our lives, towards other people, the people we stay with, the people we work with, the people we pray with. And I pray, Father God, that may touch and heal every disease, every infirmity, that is disturbing all your children, especially those who are following us on this program. We thank you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We give glory to you, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. So, my dear brothers and sisters, we continue to pray that the Lord may touch you in all those areas of your life where you need his divine intervention in your life. In Jesus' name we pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Over the Moliza, over the Mulavi Mulonji, I just want to bless the Lord for your time you've given us for this moment of encounter program. I want to bless the Lord for the word, for the very, very, very powerful word he has given to us this night. And I want to bless the Lord for everybody who has done anything for this program. I want to bless the Lord for whatever mankind does for the glory of God. I want to wish you a very, very, very fruitful and very prosperous and very enjoying. And I, I can't mention it. But I want to wish you a very good weekend until we meet again for the same program, the moment of encounter, right here at Uganda Catholic Television. Cinema. Uralero cinema kutuminako avantu bafe na Dalam Parish Jemva e ya Kawanda the model of parish tukola na manyo kulavanti Kawanda tujiteka kuntiko everenga ye modo parish mu dinare ya fe ya matuga atene mu kiso vicariat mu namwena abate kamo chemukola kulavanti tukuza parish ya fe omukama abatuelo mukisa nebitunde bitulinanye sister parish ya fe mother parish ginger kalori atene parishes to nez nendala so na namu abalala mwena twagala okulavanti tukola kulobwa kabaka bakatonda tuteke mu chona che tusobola atena ye ajja kuzimba ebya fe sigala bulonje omukama Aku tuh yang mau kisah.